Welcome to my channel, where I'll delve deep into the ever-evolving landscape of global affairs. In today's discussion, we're going to thoroughly analyze the recent BRICS summit, which unfolded in Johannesburg, South Africa, from August 22 to 24, 2023. This 15th BRICS summit was more than just an annual gathering, it marked a transformative moment in the history of this influential bloc. Let's begin by establishing a foundational understanding of BRICS. This acronym represents an assembly of five major nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Since its inception in 2009, BRICS has functioned as a platform for addressing global issues and fostering collaboration across various spheres. However, the 2023 summit had a unique dimension, it was all about expanding the BRICS family. The headline-grabbing decision of this summit was the approval to admit six new member countries into the BRICS fold, Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. These countries are set to formally join the group in January 2024. But why is this expansion such a monumental development? This expansion isn't just about increasing the headcount within BRICS, it signifies a seismic shift in the global power structure. The summit sent an unequivocal message, the post-World War II international order must evolve to accommodate the realities of today's multipolar world. It's a response to mounting discontent with the existing system, driven by actions such as unilateral financial sanctions and unmet climate finance commitments by Western powers. The transformation of BRICS into a BRICS Plus format, complete with guiding principles, standards, and procedures, has the potential to turn BRICS into an even more appealing institution for fostering consensus and dialogue within the developing world. Moreover, the profiles of these new member countries suggest a shift away from the traditional Western-approved partners, challenging the prevailing global order. Beyond the political arena, significant economic transformations are also underway. While the dream of a common BRICS currency may seem distant, the reality of trading in national currencies is quickly becoming tangible. Recent examples, such as India's rupee-designated oil transactions with the United Arab Emirates, highlight a discernible shift away from the long-standing petrodollar system. This isn't just a new world order, it's a distinct alternative that favors the developing world. As with any expansion, complexities emerge. BRICS is renowned for its consensus-driven decision-making, and with more voices at the table, decisions naturally become intricate. Disputes between countries like Egypt and Ethiopia, along with long-standing rivalries such as Saudi Arabia and Iran, pose formidable challenges. However, the crux of the matter isn't merely about who joins BRICS but who wields influence over policy decisions. Democratizing global governance is an arduous task, and the BRICS endeavor is nothing short of ambitious. The BRICS summit underscores the growing influence of the global south. Over 20 countries expressed their interest in joining BRICS, prompting the group of seven, G7, to intensify its outreach to the global south. This marks a competition for influence in regions where economic growth and security dynamics are reshaping the global stage. In conclusion, this BRICS summit isn't just a diplomatic gathering, it's a transformative moment that has disrupted the traditional global order. It signals a shift toward a more inclusive, multipolar world. However, substantial challenges lie ahead, and the expansion of BRICS into BRICS Plus will test the group's unity and effectiveness in the face of unprecedented diversity. To gain deeper insights, let's take a closer look at how some key members perceive this expansion. Russia, for instance, views it as an opportunity to foster a new kind of global interaction. On the other hand, Brazil, India, and South Africa face the challenge of ensuring that BRICS Plus doesn't become a platform solely for advancing China's and Russia's geopolitical interests. What does all of this mean for the broader Global South? This BRICS expansion symbolizes the increasing importance of the Global South in today's world affairs. The economic growth and security influence of these regions are compelling the world's major powers to take notice. The question is whether the Global South's voice will be genuinely integrated into the global agenda. Lastly, we must acknowledge the intricate role of South Africa, the host of this historic summit. The South African government faced numerous challenges in balancing its enthusiasm for BRICS expansion with its obligations under the Rome Statute. The delicate dance of diplomacy unfolded as it navigated potential visits from leaders with international arrest warrants. South Africa's foreign policy embodies a delicate balance between its commitment to human rights and its participation in a global order shaped by China and Russia. President Cyril Ramaphosa's speech before the summit emphasized the promotion of human rights as a key pillar of South Africa's foreign policy, underscoring the tension between these competing priorities. Thank you for staying with us through this extensive exploration of the BRICS summit and its profound implications for global politics and economics. If you found this analysis enlightening, 
please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell for more in-depth insights into global affairs. Until next time, I'm, your name, signing off. Keep exploring, stay informed.